Two Irving Parks have been given a facelift. Woodhaven and Nichols Parks are in top-notch shape and ready for action. Well, both of these improvements uh, basically upgraded to the uh, latest uh, playground equipment that's on the market. Uh, it's a new amenity for the neighbors in that uh, both areas to go use. Uh, in these economic times, a lot of people are going out to the park and playing with their kids. So this is a, a great addition for folks to take their kids or grandkids out there and just enjoy some nice, inexpensive fun. Along with the new playgrounds, both parks now have solar lighting and improved drinking fountains. And then at Nichols, we also improved the uh, access at the corners with new ramps and some signs. We also improved the uh, ADA accessibility to some picnic tables. And then the big feature at Nichols is we added a small picnic pavilion with some tables underneath it for the residents to use. We've got landscape Gene Molden is the senior that, architect that with the do. city and oversaw the construction at Woodhaven. I was the project manager, um, met with the residents, home associations, uh, designed the project, went, reviewed it with them, reviewed it with the neighbors, local neighbors that were right there, and you know got their approval, uh, went to some of their meetings even, and you know reviewed the plans with them and got their approval and just went forward on that on doing the construction of Woodhaven. Most of the changes were at the request of residents. Woodhaven, the playground was in pretty poor shape, didn't meet any of the safety guidelines, so we needed to go back and um, upgrade that and bring it up to our current standards. At Nichols, they have a real strong neighborhood group and uh, they just needed to have a facelift on that park. It's required that all of Irving's parks are fully accessible to people with disabilities. The playgrounds all have ADA accessible transfer ramps on them or they have ramps for the kids to roll up onto the playgrounds. Um, picnic tables have to have an access point uh, for a wheelchair and they have to be able to uh, seat a wheelchair. And then of course the trails and entry into the parks all have to have ADA accessible ramps and uh, be of the right grade and slope so that you can transverse them in a wheelchair. Construction started at the end of last year and was completed this past May. Woodhaven was uh, pretty inexpensive. We did that in-house. We kind of served as a general contractor and uh, also had some of the city forces do some of the work. So it had a budget of 45000 uh, Nichols was also, uh, we served as a general contractor and uh, hired some subcontractors to do some of the work and did some of the work ourselves and it had a budget of $250,000. Relying less on outside contractors and more on in-house staff kept costs down. And by doing that, uh, we didn't have an overhead and all the insurance charges that a general contractor would have, so it was less expensive for us. We're actually able to put more amenities in the park by having uh, not paid the overhead. We saved that money and put it back into the park. Recycled items were also used. We put a, a shelter, a little uh, shade canopy shelter at the site, and we got that canopy from Southwest Park Pool that was uh, recently removed. So we were able to recycle that into this project and that would save the quite a bit on that and put picnic tables underneath it. And what's a park without trees? We moved the playground where it can get a little bit of afternoon sun, it's still pretty open, but it, it gets some shade with the mesquite trees that are there. Again, with the, we put the shade canopy and we also added the, some more shade with new trees. With their new faces, the parks are a welcoming sight. Oh, we're pleased with the way both of them turned out. Staff did a good job managing both projects and we had some good contractors that installed some of it. Uh, I think it met the needs of the neighborhood in both cases very, very well. It was just a real pleasure in, in working with uh, the homeowners associations and a lot of the residents around there. They, I, think they, I think their input made it a better product. For Parkscape, I'm Valerie Mason.